everyone, welcome to another one of my videos, and this one is going to be about bullying. Bullying, bullying, bullying. If you are a bully, then you can fuck yourself. Or I want you to stop if you're a bully, okay? Because, like, I'm bullied all the time. I don't really have much friends. Nobody really likes me. So... I'm surprised I ha even have a boyfriend right now, and he's a really good guy and all that stuff. And I really love him. We've been dating for three months now, but I don't really have very much friends because I'm bullied all the time. I'm judged all the time for how I am. Nobody really likes me, like I said, and it happens all the time, every day. Like, let me think. I only have, like, three friends. Courtney, Cheyenne, and Sky, and my boyfriend, so he's not really a friend, he's more than that, because I really love him, he's a good guy, the best person I've ever met in my entire life, and he can make me happy all the time, even when I'm as sad as can be, but, sorry, I'm going to talk about myself, but, yeah, bullying is a bad thing. You shouldn't do it. It's not right. Why would you judge somebody for how they are? You don't even know them. They could be a really awesome, great, fun person to hang out with. But you just decide to judge them for how they look. You don't even know who they are. Like A while ago, it was quite a while ago actually, but I saw this video that was really inspiring and it's called You Know My Name not my story. And the guy who made it is J.C. Kalen, okay? So watch it. Please, just watch it. It's really inspiring. It's really good. It's really awesome. And it's just awesome. So please, please watch it. It's a good video. It's really great. Just watch it. It's awesome. And if you are witness of being bullied, I know what it feels like. I know how it is. And if you think you don't have anybody to talk to, you can talk to me. Okay? And if you want if you want to talk privately, not just in the comments or anything. Because I will always look at comments, I will always talk back and all that stuff. But if you want to talk privately about it, you can always go with me on Facebook. Like, add me on Facebook. My name is Alyssa Malin. It has a picture of me. So, please... You can always talk to me, okay? Because I know how it feels like. I won't tell anybody. I won't judge you. I won't be mean to you for how you are or how you act or the way you look like, okay? Like, especially last year. It was really bad for me, but, like, it's really hard. It's not a fun time. It's not really hard to go through. And, like, some people, it happens every day like me. That's, yeah, and all that stuff. And if you are a bully, please, just stop. You're ruining somebody's life by the second. And they can start harming themselves like I did. They can even kill themselves just because you are bullying them. So if you bully somebody and they kill themselves, how do you, that make you feel? Somebody killed themselves because of you. How would that make you feel? I don't think that'd be happy or satisfying. I think that... Just because you judge somebody for how they are, how they look, how they act, doesn't mean you have to judge them. You have to be so mean to them. You have to do all this stuff to them. Just because you don't like them. You don't even know them. Just. What if you were that person? Put your put yourself in their shoes. It's just bad. Like even cyberbullying hurts. It's never happened to me. But I know it'll hurt. <sighs> and. I just want it to stop. I know it never will. But it should. It shouldn't happen in the first place. Like, 
sorry, but yeah, I don't know why people do this. People kill themselves every day just because they're bullied. People harm themselves every day because they're bullied like I did. I stopped, thank God, because my mom found out. Because my brother found out, and then he told my mom. Which is actually kind of good, so now I stopped. But some people just don't stop. Sometimes they hit their veins on purpose, too. Because they want it to be over with. They want this hell to stop. But it, they know it won't, so they try to end themselves' life. Why? Why do you have to do that to them? Like, even if somebody has a disability, maybe they can't walk, they don't have legs, they don't have arms or something. Doesn't mean you have to be such a bitch to them. It's like, oh, this person doesn't have a leg, I'm gonna bully them, I'm gonna hate them. No, why? What the hell? And I realized that a lot of the bullies don't even realize they're bullying people. Honestly, I don't. Honestly, they don't, sorry. They just don't even realize that they're bullying somebody, that they're ruining, ruining somebody's life by the moment that that person is cutting themselves or harming themselves and trying to kill themselves just because of you. And if you haven't bullied somebody, you're awesome. But if you have, that's all I can say. Just please stop if you are a bully. And if you're witness to bullying, I know sometimes telling people do not help. That's why I don't really tell anybody. Just please, if you are a witness, please just don't kill yourself. I'm here for you. You can talk to me. Please. Like I said, you can go on Facebook to talk with me if you want to. I go on Facebook, not very much, but I will start going on Facebook a lot just for you, okay? You can talk to me. I won't tell anybody. I won't judge you. I won't be mean to you because I know how it feels. I really do. Okay? I do. I'm sorry. But it's hard. It's even hard talking about it. I'm tearing up right now. <sighs> All I'm saying is stop if you are a bully. Just stop. And if you're a witness, you can talk to me. I'm here for you, okay? And this video should probably end because I'll try to cheer. Well, this video should end because it's already been eight minutes. Like I always say, stay fresh, stay cool, stay calm, all that stuff. So peace out, okay, people?